bro. Same channel, but it's the bro. other guy that do the videos now. Like, remember, who's watching the, the like the Melly video and stuff? It's a different guy. Nah, that this nigga lost his job. Nah, this trap niggas. Wait, how could I got targeted by the Miami FDC? What? That was when he got arrested. Uh, he just continued to yell, it's hot, get me out of here, and kept kicking and kicking and kicking. A couple years ago, the Florida prison system was stunned when a major oh, scandal this, got brought to light involving officers that had locked an inmate in a small rigged shower room, turning the water on full hot and left him, screaming for mercy for nearly two hours until he collapsed and died, the skin what? peeling off his body. Even senior investigators were silenced when they tried to bring up legitimate cover-ups that what you, and that inmate abuse and this type of shit happens a lot in the florida department of correction so now we fast forward to kodak's situation kodak's right now in prison for three years for falsifying information when applying for some guns then we found out about a story where one morning kodak wakes up and he's sipping on some coffee when all of a sudden he feels possessed he feels woozy he starts to get these hallucinations so immediately what the fuck? immediately he goes to the co's office and says Something ain't right. I need medical attention. And they deny him. Kodak's confused. He's like, okay. And he heads back over to his cell. Now, they put an inmate in his cell earlier in the day. Kodak somehow gets into a fight with this guy. The guards come rushing down. They try to break it up. It takes three of them to hold back Kodak. In the meantime, he's in survival mode. He's hallucinating. He's fighting an inmate. He probably thinks he's fighting some type of alien invasion. During the whole process, Kodak grabbed one of the guards' testicles. Pause. But this is... <laughs> nah, he really has them dicks. <laughs> yo, hey, yo. Nigga, what What's do you mean? Is that, is that AJ? Nigga, what do you mean? AJ, there's no way you said he really had them dicks. Nigga, nigga, he did. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Nigga said I wasn't Kodak, that was his clone. Nah, you heard him. <laughs> You heard him, he said he was in survival mode. <laughs> This is a true yeah, story. Really Grabbed the guy's testicles, started to squeeze that shit like what the, the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> nah, hey, listen, nigga. Man, hey, listen, niggas get real grimy down here. Not far for man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, cook your food and shit. Nigga. <laughs> he was in survival mode. <laughs> yeah, cook. You grab, you grab the testicles to survive? Listen, nigga. He definitely I'm is. Doing, I'm doing what I gotta do. <laughs> hey, nah, yo. Nice, nice trap, you nigga. Gator. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's he's gassing it. Yeah, he's gassing <laughs> it. He's definitely gassing it. He's uh, he's talking about it like he's like he's interested. Like he squeezed his testicles. <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, he's into it. <laughs> it was a carnival game, and he's looking for a high score. I don't know. Pause on everything. He did so much damage to this guard that the guard's intestinal wall was breached, and this poor sob had to go get surgery. What's really weird is what? the inmate who was randomly placed in Kodak's cell somehow Ooh. bonded out 12 hours after the brawl, and we got FBI agents who testified that Kodak appeared to be under the influence during the fight. So so now everybody wants to know how did that get into his coffin influence. and what yeah. was it kodak can't prove that he was laced because by the time he could do some type of test whatever substance that may or may not have been in there is already out of your this is trippy oh so they, they laced them bro so do you understand snitch. you don't you do you understand how crazy the like the jail system is down here like broward and so, miami so the, the, feds basically, that goes on? the feds basically laced them so you can snitch Bro, like you heard what happened with Melly, right? Yo, Bro, that's the system, crazy. The jail system down here is fucked. Nah, that's beyond me. Hold on system so we can't prove it now apparently there is video surveillance but who controls the video surveillance the prison guards so the now apparently video... there is the sources say there's surveillance footage showing kodak black drinking fuck a your friends, hey, don't you pretend, hey, i fuck you right before i'm inside the bins hey don't <clears throat> this stream turned from you doing 2k wagers to becoming a whole fed <laughs> you and your police partners investigating no wonder your name rat hey listen <laughs> Nah, I ain't, I ain't me. Appreciate donation, I got. Hold on. Wait, so it's just a regular. Why would Kodak drink the cop? I don't know. I don't drink coffee anyway. I ain't gonna lie. These feds is starting to become very scary, bro. They lacing niggas to snitch now? Nah, that's dead. That got it, bro. That got it. You said what? Fact. Video surveillance. 
Okay. But who controls the video surveillance? The police. The prison guards. So of we'll course. have to wait and see what happens. Of course, you got people who don't believe any of this, right? They think Kodak was just on some DMT or LSD or something just to try and kill time while he was behind bars. And fair enough if that's what you think, but there's a lot of sketchy shit going on here that you can't really- Nah, you really gotta watch what you put in your body for real, bro. That ass. That ass, bro. Like, Yo. Nah, these niggas is evil if they really did some shit like that. Yo, three appreciate three months, Jaden. Exclamation points up. How to subscribe? Close your, your eyes and ignore. Then, of course, you got the letter that Kodak wrote exposing two lieutenants who. I don't even. Remember, I don't even know this post. On October 29th, I was laced with an unknown substance here in Miami, FDC. That substance gave me an out-of-body experience. What? We're trying to systematically kill him. His mother wasn't allowed to see him. They weren't giving him food. They even went into his cell one day and said, "I'm gonna take your pretty little girlfriend off your visitation list." Petty shit. Now, what? I heard, I heard they was beating him in solitary for like a whole month. Now I go lie. W's for Kodak to come out of prison and and, and, and still be like, like say like sane. Like bro, that that can really mess up somebody's mental health, bro. Now one thing as Kodak fans, and I am one of them, we have to admit is that Kodak has been making some mistakes. He's been fucking up and that's okay to say. I mean, who here remembers the time recently where Kodak let his GPS take him to Canada by mistake with illegal <laughs> weapons, right? How do you, yeah, how, how do, you do that? He took one wrong left that. turn, him and his crew, they ended up in Canada and they had to recross the border with illegal weapons. It was done, it was over. And it's moments like these where <laughs> even if you're a Kodak fan, you gotta go, bruh, what? But regardless <laughs> of the mistakes he's making, and listen, nobody deserves to have their basic human rights stripped from them. That's like what appears to be happening to Kodak that's, in the- That's police in Miami. That got me shook. I don't even want to get pulled over. Miami Detention Center. I mean, don't forget, this is a place in Florida where literally last week, an investigation was launched into a prison guard pouring bleach on an inmate's food. Hmm? Bro, what the fuck? I told you the shit down here is crazy. Bro, this is some real Florida shit. I ain't gonna lie. This is Florida shit. Hey, feds down here is crazy. But the thing is that who's teaching these niggas this? Bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, there's no way the feds do this on Somebody gotta be a mastermind. I fuck you right before I have inside the biz, ayy. Don't- That man is not fully there. I just seen him eating a raw fish head. Bro, some people eat raw fish, bro. That's normal. Appreciate the donation. Bro, that's a Caribbean thing. They have hatred? Nah, that's beyond me. Nah, that's beyond me, bro. Florida prisons are fucked up. Bro. I mean, what the? F Yo, I hope uh, you don't have to worry, rat. You'll never end up in one of those. Oh, of course not, because I'm. You're a good kid. I'm legal, I'm licensed. And I know this happens all over the states, but specifically, I've done yeah. a bunch of videos okay. on Florida, and there's something special going on there. It's the third most corrupt state in America. The system is. New York is number one. I believe it. I could have seen that coming from a mile away. I could have seen that coming too. I ain't gonna lie. Because don't New York got Rikers and all that shit? Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. New, New York's corruption must be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> New York's corruption. There's no way it's not. Hmm? I said there's no way it's not. Yeah, yeah, got it. It's crazy. The streets are equally crazy. And both sides are trying to figure out who's crazy than the other. Oh yeah, get this. So Kodak's mom shows up at the prison to visit Kodak. She hasn't seen him in months. And when she gets there, she finds out Kodak's moved. not even in the prison. It turns out that they had moved Kodak like a thousand miles away to Kentucky. Now the story doesn't- What? You didn't know that? No! You didn't know that he got moved to Kentucky? Lil Dirk just dropped a new snippet as a Kwando disc. Let me see. Well, they finna say everything is this. That's a fact, bro. They finna say everything is a fucking disc. That's probably yeah. better for him, though. Nigga, well, I mean, they pick where he goes. That's a fact. And then there, Kodak is appealing the whole thing, including his four-year sentence. We'll see what happens, but I want to know what you guys think. Some people think that Kodak was just doing substances while he was in prison. Everybody knows you can get your hands on certain substances in prison. There's like an underground market behind bars. Others believe he was laced. Me personally, I think he was laced. It of just, the whole laced. situation looks sketchy as fuck. Anyways, bro, it's the Chronicles of Florganistan, and uh, yeah, man, pray for Kodak. I'll see you in the next video. But they trying to kill that man, bro. Chad, what y'all think? See, I ain't gonna lie, bro. They, man. Let me not say what I really want to say. 
<laughs> That's beyond me, bro. Mm. 